This is Dash. Dash is a dog. Dash's favourite things in life are the Times crossword, media studies and also eating biscuits. Today, me and Dash are going to go out and teach you about some of the different camera shots and camera movements. You ready to go then, Dash? This is a close-up shot. In a close-up shot, we can see pretty much all of the head of the character that we're focusing on. Dash. This is an extreme close-up, where you focus in really, really close on something. In this case, Dash's eye. Okay, Dash has just found for me an example of an extreme long shot. It's just over here. So there we go, that is an extreme long shot. We are really, really far out and we can see pretty much all of the city over there. Uh, often called an establishing shot as well. So it sets the scene for where your film or, and the action will take place. Here we see Dash is demonstrating a long shot. We know it's a long shot because it's a little bit closer than an extreme uh, long shot and we can actually see some of the things in the foreground such as Dash here is running off screen. We can also see a lot of the background. This is a full shot. In a full shot we can see all of the character that you're focusing on. Dash is showing you a mid shot now. A mid shot is where you see a character from the waist up um, and then they're tackled. Down. There we go, so that is a mid shot. It's a bit difficult with the dog. Um, but you get the basic idea. Dash, don't kill the tree. This is a high angle shot because I'm looking down on Dash. He looks small and innocent and weak. This is a low angle shot. You'll see that we're very low down and we're looking up at the main action. Dash! Come on, Dash! So we are looking up at Dash now. Um, he will look powerful. And as he comes down closer to us, we'll see how close he is. A point of view shot is where we see the film from the character's point of view, as if we're looking out of their eyes. In this case, we're seeing it through the eyes of a dog. This is a bird's eye view. This shot is taken from high above the particular character you're focusing on. In this case, a small dog ruining my shrubbery. Okay, this is a tilt shot. You can tilt up or down where the camera moves up. And there we see Dash. So I can tilt up and I can tilt down. So that is a tilt. This is called a pan, where the camera slowly moves across to one side or the other. So that is called panning. And there we go. We see the dog. Let's pan back the other way now, shall we? Dash loves a good pan. Dash also has asked me to explain to you that you can actually combine some of these shots and camera movements. So for an example, if we go back to our uh, extreme long shot, you could actually combine that with a pan if you really wanted to make the most of a, a large kind of scenery or setting. So this is a tracking shot. Um, it follows the action, follows the character along. So I'm following Dash along now as he hunts for squirrels or no doubt something else that he can murder. <laughs> 